Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in the Cocos 2DX C++ physics series and in this part we're going to be looking at how to add a screen boundary. So first of all it's going to open up our project and remove just some code, There's quite a lot of code we just want to remove, it's the code that's automatically generated. You may not have this because we didn't generate a project within this series but if you do you'll generally want to remove it, but again it's up to you. So just give us a moment while we remove all of this. And get rid of this function as well. Okay, we will add a screen physics boundary to prevent objects from going outside. You may want to change this functionality depending on your application because you may want to allow certain objects or objects in general to go off the screen. But a game like Glow Breaker, which is our version of Brick Breaker, there will be a link in the description. As you probably are aware if you're doing this tutorial or into games, or most likely you are, so you've probably played a Brick Breaker game that the ball bounces off the size as well as objects within the game. So what we're going to do is to create a physics body or edge body, all you do is auto edge body equals physics body colon colon create edge box and for the parameter what we pass in is visible size now, so all we need to do is pass in that and we're just going to set the material as well and we'll just explain what we mean by the material so we're going to do physics body Material default, we can leave it as default for now, comma, free, and this is the width of the border of the edge box. So if we just right click and jump to definition, and what this is, let's just right click this and jump to definition, and we get it right here. We by default it sets the density, restitution, and the friction to zero. 0.5 and 0.5 you can specify it yourself the density is the mass of the object the restitution represents the ratio of the speeds of the colliding objects zero will be the objects uh, stop on collision below one uh, but above zero means it is inelastic collision which means the total force before doesn't equal the total force after a collision for example if you bounce a ball the bounce will gradually reduce if the restitution is 1, then it means the total force before will equal the total force after, basically elastic collision. Finally, fr friction is the force resisting movement. So you can set it to yourself, but what we're going to be doing is just setting it using the default value for now. And what next thing we're going to do is auto edge node equals node colon colon create so this is just like an empty node it's not a sprite or anything like that edge node set position and for the position we're going to do point we're going to do visible size dot width divided by two plus origin dot x and do visible size dot height divided by 2 plus origin dot y and now we're going to do edge node set physics body and the physics body that we're going to be setting is the one we created right here so edge body then we're going to do this add child and we just simply add the edge node. We don't have to bother adding the body, we just add the node and any node that is added and that has a body assigned to it, like here, it will obviously assign it and you can manipulate the body as well. And it will move along with the node if it's moving like a sprite, for example. So this node, you can think of it as a sprite essentially, because a sprite is a node. So you have your node, which could be a sprite, could be a menu item and then you assign some sort of physics body to it to apply physics to your game. So let's just run this now. And what we're going to do... Well, our rig life should be A-OK. -okay.
Okay, so we have it run now, and this is the screen, and this is the edge node right here. It is a thickness of three, which we specified right there. And this wouldn't draw in a real game, because what you would do is disable this line here, which is physics world debug draw all. So if we were to just comment out this line, run it. It looks empty, but it isn't. The actual edge node is there, and generally, when you're creating a game and when you actually publish it or you show it somebody, most likely you will have this disabled, or you just won't have this line in at all. But for the most part, for this series, we'll have this enabled so you can actually see the physics bodies and the collisions. That's it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we're going to cover adding a circular sprite physics body. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code, including the base source code, will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.